But really getting into it, we've talked about the deep work. We've talked about habit forming, which I think is the big matzo ball. That needs to happen first. Now let's discuss, okay, let's pretend that that question was surfacy. Well, with that question, I think the why or that inner work, again, we didn't really discuss on how challenging it actually is to get to the bottom of it. Like I've talked, I've talked with a lot of clients over the last 10 years where that's the hardest thing. Like if you, if you're not comfortable enough with yourself to identify the negative thing that you're experiencing and why you want that positive thing, like if you're only willing to just be like, well, I want, I want to be in shape. Okay. Well, well, why? Well, you know, I just think it would be smart, but if they're severely obese or severely injured or whatever the case may be they have these bad habits like smoking drinking bad food whatever the case is if they can't identify that they're trying to take away a negative that's actually causing them emotional trauma if they're not ready to identify that then it's hard to actually get into that why and i think that some people also believe their own bs when they tell themselves what their why truly is so digging into that i think is more of a challenge than what we're actually just it, it seems so easy to just be like well identify your why uh, yeah uh, easier said than done. This is, this involves going, going kind of into the belly of the beast. Okay. Uh, the challenge with it is that you actually have to confront the stuff that you don't like and don't want. Yeah. And that's uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. It's uncomfortable, but you know, it's easy to say, get uncomfortable, get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Um, but actually doing that can be really challenging, especially when you're dealing with significant issues, mm -hmm. you know, like that's, that's one of those things It can't be can't be just glazed over that's a whole conversation on its own though that one so let's say we're getting into the more logistical part of things it's like okay so if we agree that you know getting the the smart goal setting done understanding your why and then strategizing um the behavior change those are the keys here i think that we can agree on that yeah so let's say we've gone through that process it's like, okay, so I've established this is a good goal. It's specific. It's measurable. There's intention behind it and a good why. So now I'm planning out the habits that I'm going to do. The question is, you know, when you look at our data, we have a lot of people that are on the side of food and then people that are on the side of exercise. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to do kind of a point counterpoint to end this out. I think that the big matzo ball in this podcast is to, to discuss, you know, the real question is, why do you want that? If it's societal, you've got no teeth behind that. If you actually have a good reason for it and put a good strategy behind it, it's much more likely to be successful. 